This is scheduled for four rounds of the Super Lightweight Division. Introducing to you first, ready to make his ring walk and fighting out of the blue corner, hailing from Edinburgh, Texas. Here is Hector Edigrillo Aguirre. I'm going to tell you right now, Mozzie, give this guy, El Tegrillo, who is walking into the ring, a lot of credit. John Ingram's opponent fell through. They called this guy up yesterday. He is from the Rio Grande Valley. And that's where my home base is at as well. It takes a good, depending on how fast you drive and how the border is looking on that day. Uh, you know, it takes a few hours to get to San Antonio. So that's a quick turnaround. You go up the valley, up to San Antonio, and then be prepared for a fight. Yeah. You know, against a really good opponent. Uh, nah, for sure. And, and, and kudos to him for taking this fight. Last minute, and really coming up here and ready to, you know, give it his all. So let me tell you a little bit about Hector Aguirre. 19 years old, so this is a good age matchup for him and Jahan. But he is 3-0 and with one KO knockout. So, I mean, this is a promising young prospect as well. So, so if I'm understanding this right, both fighters are undefeated. Somebody's O has got to go. Somebody's O has got to go. And chat, let us know who zero that is. Who zero is going to end or is going to become a one? My Jahan Ingram fans out there, that's for sure. Kelvin, it's good to have you back. Welcome back, Kelvin. So right now we got uh, Jahan getting ready to fight. Okay. And uh, both fighters are undefeated. So somebody's. Oh, it's turning into a one tonight. Somebody got to go. 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 Somebody Brought to you by and courtesy of Tavies Entertainment brings you our next bout of the evening. Four rounds of the super lightweight division and it's sponsored by Gomez Law Firm. Gomez Fights. The three judges scoring this contest at ringside are Angel Mendez, Ursulo Perez, and Joel Elizondo and a referee in charge of the action at the sound of the bell Mark Colloy, introducing to you first tonight, fighting out of the blue corner, standing with Raul Cáceres and Jesus Cáceres, wearing black with gold, he officially weighed in 139.4 pounds, and three professional bouts, his record stands perfect. Three victories, one win coming to you by way of knockout, no defeats. He turned pro at the age of 17 in Mexico and now continues his career. Hailing from Edinburgh, Texas, USA, here is Hector El Tigrillo Aguirre. And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, standing with trainer Otis Pimpleton. Tonight wearing black with orange, he officially weighed in 136.1 pounds. This evening, he enters his ropes unblemished. Two bouts, two victories. Two wins coming to you by way of knockout, no defeats. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Representing the money team, here is the undefeated Jahan Pretty Boy Ingram. I think everybody's really.
really excited for this fight. These two fighters very evenly matched, both young, both, like we mentioned before, undefeated. So somebody old has got to go. I'm not sure what to expect after what we saw in the last fight, though. Yeah, I, listen, I'm, I, I was going to walk in here and say, you know, watching Jahan fight twice, um, he's a very skilled fighter. And I would put, you know, my money on, on Jahan, but you never know with the sport of boxing, man. It, it could be one hit away from Jahan taking his first L. Hector Aguirre in the all black with gold trim. Jahan Ingram in the black with light orange. And I expect El Tegrillo to try to make a statement here. This is a good crowd for him to fight in front of. Is the Rio Grande Valley native. Oh and the God. explosions start early. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, John has a smile on his face as he's doing this. Listen, both of these fighters' hands are quick, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, another oh body God. shot, and that shot rocked him right to the face, twice to the temple from Jahan Ingram. Oh, my gosh. Man, these guys are standing in the pocket, and they're letting it fly. You're talking both exchanging punches, man, and, but Jahan, oh my goodness. Just missed with the uppercut, didn't get it fully, but those body shots, you know that El Tegrillo is feeling them. And, and, and shout out to him for the chin. Yo! <laughs> is going crazy. <laughs> oh! Yeah, Jahan has a big corner, oh, but he that, ate that, that punch. Big, big left. And he back in there. Oh, my. Hey, shout out to all of you on Twitch. If you're away from your computer, come on back. You don't want to miss this fight. This one looking promising. Oh, oh my God. They both, they're both hitting really hard right now. Jahan, quick with... Quick with power. Yeah, like I said, one of the most skilled fighters I've, I've, I've ever seen at a very at the very young age. Of, how, how old is John? I believe he's 21. 21 years old. El Tegrillo, 19. So two young guys. Two young guys going at it. Oh. Both exchanging to try to land oh something, God. but Jahan Ingram. I, oh! Sends him flat back to the canvas with that overhand left. Good God. Wow. 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 Kelvin got up out of his seat. Kelvin got out of his seat. He walked. The they brought the stretcher back. Hopefully, we won't need it for oh, this yeah, fight. I, I, hope, I pray we don't need another one for an, another one. Oh, another shot from another, the left hand. John's too quick, man. This is a beat. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. And Kelvin, your, your thoughts so far? This is a beat. Winston's North Carolina, Winston Salem, North Carolina, checking in on the chat. North oh, oh my God. God! Jesus! Oh my God! Ooh. Yo! Jeez! Jahan, you know it's good when you don't have to say anything. You don't have to say anything. Yes, we, we listen. Y'all, y'all are seeing the same thing. We're watching, people. Oh, uh, Jahan is just teeing off. And we will go to round number two, but We're I'm not sure. Yo, okay, run, run the tank. Because the replay here, uh, th this is insane. Because Jahan, the, his hand speed along with the power connecting on these punches. Yeah, look at this replay here. And hopefully we'll get a look at the knockout. I believe it came from a left hand, but man, Jahan is dangerous. Yes, that's the left. You called it, that, that left hook. You know, he smiled. He was telling me that he was confident yesterday, the, regardless of who he was going to fight. But I mean, when you have, you know, who I'm going to say is going to be a future NBA All-Star and Olympic gold medalist, get out of their seat. Yeah. And, he, and he plays with the most amazing human beings on the planet. Yeah. You know you did something special. Absolutely. You know, John, uh, I'm sorry, not John, <laughs> Kelvin. My, my bad, I had to take a break real quick. <laughs> no, no, no. I did want to ask you this. You know, you play, and you are one of the greatest athletes in the world. You play in the NBA, you know. Uh, how does this, how does this differ, you know, because these guys are still trying to make their way up the ladder? This, uh, I mean, repeat that. I got a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I'm just saying that you, you, you play with like these physical specimens, but here in the boxing ring, it's like Jahan is a, his own specimen. Yes, this is, this is a lot different from basketball. Uh, we're definitely athletic and, you know, we're talented in our craft, but uh, 
this is uh, definitely right here. This is definitely a uh, master class right here. He's definitely putting on the show. Absolutely. Again, give a lot of credit to Hector Aguirre. He took this fight yesterday, just yesterday, to fill in for Ingram's opponent. And big credit to him for, for stepping in, like I said, last minute to take this fight. Because as a young he is and, and, you know, taking the, you know, the chin that he has for taking the punishment by Shahan, and he's still in here to do round two. Is, how, old is, is incredible. how old is Hector? 19. 19. So he still has a long road ahead of him, long you know? Road. But so, but so is Jahan, too, at 21 years old as well. It's just a perfect game plan from Jahan Ingram. He's going high, he's going low, and he's connecting on everything. A Gita game, though, he's standing in. Nice left jab coming from Ingram. I know, but he snapped his head back with that jab. Oh, those body shots are deadly. Those will make it an early night. He's so fast. He's fast, man. He's fast. fast. I'm telling you, see. I got it, headphones on. I can hear the impact. Yeah, it's, it's, he, he can hit. He, that man, it gets, got speed and power. I'm telling you. When I see Ingram training in the gym and seeing, you know, with the speed bag and, you know, on the, on the big punching bag as well, his, he got power, man, along with the speed. That's scary. We, to have, you know. Well, we said it earlier. It's like taking a baseball bat to a punching bag. That's what the sound sounds like. Yeah, but but at, at that, we're just being, you know, maybe 10 times faster a little bit. Oh, those that, uppercuts. Those uppercuts are brutal. And he's not even moving. He's just picking his spots. Yes, indeed. We are seeing a master class on display from John Ingram, at least right now. Again, anything can change on one punch, and Aguirre is still standing in the pocket. True Mexican-style warrior. In the phone booth. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm surprised he still uppercut. has his mouthpiece in. They're not wanting to separate. I would think about maybe a different game plan if I was Aguirre, but that's not the case. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Another, another uppercut. Oh, I know we came to watch boxing, but right now we're seeing a beating. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, in the round two, how y'all see it so far? Lopsided. Pretty one-sided, my man. You just yeah. got, you got real quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, I'm, I'm in shock just because like, how is he still standing? And, and I'm hey. trying to figure that out. Hey. I'm trying to figure that hey. out. And, 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 hey. and I commend Hector for that, for still standing. Let's and, get it. Uh, Let's get it. Let's Jahan get it. The way Let's he get is, it. Man, and, Let's uh, get it. Like I said, for him being 19, he got a long road ahead of him, and, and this is definitely uh, a good way to start. Well, let's say this for sure. DJ Aguirre has a hell of a chin ten. on him yeah. to Absolutely. take those punches. Absolutely. No regular human would be able to be standing after taking the punishment that he has taken so far in this fight. I wouldn't want to start like this. Round number three. San Antonio round number three. Let's go. Well, the day that you do is the day that I want to call that fight, so. Nah, nah, I think I'll just stick to basketball. <laughs> and, and, and the people in the chat are saying respect to Hector right now. because Respect, respect. Respect, man, because, yeah, I would have, first round, I would have stayed down. Round number three of the schedule four. It's been all Jahan Ingram so far. Oh my God. And His hands are too quick, man. And you can see the punishment taking its toll on the face of Aguirre. He is all swollen, it's all red. Man, Ingram is just placing punches at his pleasure. Oh my God! Dial it up on the hotline. That's gonna be a knockout for Jahan Ingram. Ingram another, with another one. one. Wow, wow, wow. Keldon, the headset came off. Again. Your thoughts on that? Your, your thoughts. Listen, man, I, I, I'm lost for words. Jahan, and a, another thousand being dealt out by Mr. I, Cameron. I, I'm lost for words right now. Man. Cameron's spending a lot of money tonight. A lot of money tonight, I'm, I, I, gotta, I gotta go take a walk. Yo, understand, understand. As they're checking on the... Yeah, hopefully I give it okay. Like the people in the, in the, in the chat had said, right you know, maybe right his... We'll, we'll see Kelvin here in just a second, but... 
you know, maybe too good of a chin for his own good. I, I, I agree, man. I think, um, you know, and kudos, kudos to Hector for, for still standing and, and going as long as he did. Um, and coming in and taking the fight early, you know, on short, short notice. Yes, yes, ab absolutely. And both both fighters put up a fight, man. But Ingram was just was just a better fighter tonight. And we said somebody, oh, has got to go. But what stunning fashion on display from Jahan Ingram. Man, look, I'm not a tall person, obviously, right? <laughs> but I am either the same height or just a tad taller Jahan. Yes, I would not want to run into that guy. No, I mean, I'm 6'3", I'm 240. Ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, yeah, the I'm not getting a comes to you at all. 33 seconds. seconds. Let's let Jeremiah Gallegos talk us through the rest of this. referee Mark Coyne waves this contest to a halt. To the winner by KO and still undefeated, Jahan Pretty Boy Ingram. Mozzie, I think you will agree. The Pretty Boy looking pretty tonight once again as he remains undefeated. Somebody's oh got to go, and it was Hector's, and Ingram remains undefeated. Keldon. Uh. Keldon, re react, my guy. <laughs> uh, that was a beatdown, backyard beatdown. It was crazy. What up, Stern? <laughs> the enforcer, Jeffrey Stern. The enforcer, Jeffrey Stern. Making hey. an appearance here ringside. Which reminds me. He's gonna be at Super Brawl, and I'm sure the itch is going right now. You ready to get back, ain't you? <laughs> he said, yeah, he is. San Antonio, Texas, I know he's make some noise for your winner, Jahan Ingram. Back into that win column. But man, what a fight, what a performance from Jahan Ingram. Yes, indeed, that was truly. Oh, he can take his gloves off. We can interview while he cuts him off. Well deserved, well deserved. Uh, this is the first time a lot of people have seen you fight, Jahan. And if they follow you, and once they start following you, they're gonna know that you box with some of the greatest in the sport. How did you feel tonight fighting right here inside the Tech Port Arena? Uh, first off, I gotta say happy birthday to my little brother today. Hey, his birthday. He's standing over there, Jace. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jace. You have your little brother watching you in the ring. What do you tell him every day when he watches you fight? You know, he just got to trust me. He be getting sad when I fight, when I box, but he know I love the sport, I love the game, so he, he know how to deal with it. As I sat there, I listened, and I heard the words, a masterpiece, the art of boxing. We all witnessed it today. San Antonio, make some noise for Jahan Ingram. For our next contest, introducing to you first is the fighting pride of Waco, Texas. Here is Marquise the Hawk Hawthorne. And his opponent, fighting out of Killeen, Texas, USA. Here is Rashard. Too quick! Hicks. I have to be honest, Mozzie, I've really been looking forward to the return of Rashard Hicks. And so has the chat. The chat has been here looking for Hicks all night long. And ladies and gentlemen, Hicks is here. I see it. Let's go, Shad. What belts do you have? What belt does he have? What, what, what belts does he have? Uh, he is a former, ch uh, well, right now it looks like he has an ABF belt there. He also has a Texas program sports belt. And I'm trying to see the other one, but I can't see it because it's covered up now. I see four here, and that's a lot. And all fight fans, we continue the action. This contest scheduled for six rounds of a super welterweight division. The three judges scoring this contest at ringside are Ruben Carrion, Angel Mendes, and Wilson Perez. And a referee in charge at the sound of the bell, Rafael Alvarez. Rafael Alvarez. And a referee in charge at the sound of the bell, Rafael Ramos. Introducing to you first tonight, but out of the blue corner, wearing white with purple, he officially weighed in 151.4 pounds. Tonight, making his 25th professional appearance with two KO victories. Potting out of Waco, Texas, in the USA, here is Marquise the Hawk 
Hot Porn! And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, standing with trainer Ray Williams and Derek Collingsworth. Tonight wearing camouflage trunks, he officially weighed in 152.4 pounds. In 14 professional contests, his record is outstanding. 12 victories, six wins coming to you by way of knockout. Only one defeat and one draw. Introducing to you the former multi-time champion, fighting out of Colleen, Texas, USA, here is Rashard Too Quick Hicks. With the nickname Too Quick, I mean, we saw Ingram. We that was pretty quick. Fireworks, fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> we got to, we got to see some. The question is just how much ring rust is Richard going to have? Again, he had that long layoff between 2019 and now. He said it was to get healthy, to recover, get his body right. But he also told me, you know, he's a military veteran. He's been in the combat zone, so he's not phased by stepping back into the ring after the layoff. That, like you said, that is a long break from 2019 to now. That's a long layoff. And we'll see if, if that helps out. Those are all words until you get punched in the face, and now we'll see what happens as he, he has a game opponent in Marquise the Hawk Hawthorne. Yes, 8-16, and 16, a couple of KO wins, but in his last couple of fights, he has gone the distance, one six-rounder, one four-rounder. However, he does fight undefeated fighters and guys that have records like Hicks, so he likes to fight top-tier competition. He has held an ABF USA welterweight title in his past, has Hawthorne, so he has the capabilities to surprise anyone on any given night. They were looking forward to a good fight, nice left from Hicks to the midsection. Yeah, I wonder how much of a feel out period that Richard Hicks is gonna wanna go through here. Hawk can be slick. It looks like he's looking for, being strategic, looking for a, a low body shot, but like Hicks is, is staying, he's keeping his distance and only going in there when need to. Well, I did ask Hawthorne what was going to be his key to success, and he said staying on the game plan and more importantly, moving when he needs to move. As they wrap up. I'm, I'm just not too sure what to expect from Hicks because I know from his history what he's capable of. But you know, Father Time catches up with all of us at Absolutely. one point or another. Absolutely. And we'll see if, if it may be detrimental to Hicks or could this long break be a benefit to him. Like, Keldon, you think you can dunk until the age of 50? Uh, I feel like with a new technology, anything possible. <laughs> I feel like, uh, but seriously, I feel like I take care of my body. So uh, I feel like that um, hopefully when I'm 50, I'm not trying to dunk. <laughs> I need to. Uh, I for sure. For well, sure. I'm hoping that you have a couple of NBA championships and a few all-star nods to go along with your career by that point. Yes, sir. That's the plan, 100%. All right, man. So I know there's some Spurs fans in the chat, man. People want to know there's a lot of talk going on, but what, what, what's, what's, the, what's, the goal, what's the game plan for the Spurs this season? Because I know you're a competitor and Coach Pop is a competitor, man. What, what, what's the season? What, what are we going into, man, this season? Definitely. You know, we're definitely going to going, going win. We definitely expect to win. We're putting the time to win. For sure. I feel like uh, we got a lot of young, hungry guys. I feel like we all been in the gym all summer. So uh, we know we've been grinding. So now it's just time to, you know, once we get all healthy, to, to put it into play. For I sure. Like that, uh, Mozzie, I have this person say, nah, go Lakers in the chat room. Are, you, are they friends with you? Uh, they might be my friends, man. <laughs> you <crazy. laughs> You guys are ruthless out there on the hey, chat. Man, I'm telling you. Listen, man. The, 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 the chat knows, man. Go Lakers, go. But Keldon, you know what I'm saying? I, I was say that's my guy. <laughs> you know. Look, look. <laughs> the side eye. I love the it. The side eye, man. And around one. And around one. Hey. Hey, what, what, hey, I can't even hey. focus. You go over here talking about the Lakers. You know, I gotta say, it. put it in a circle. Put it in a circle. Well, well, half of doing this is having a good time, so we'll talk about anything. I haven't even got to Mozzie. San about Antonio, all the ladies stuff and gentlemen, <laughs> round number two. Like round that, number two. Y'all make it cool, you know. We just 
Yeah, man. We just have a camera. Everything out here. I know. Yeah, I'm, for sure. It's like I know I'm wearing a suit, but it really is just laid back, and we're just having fun. Yeah, you know. Sure. Just having a nice conversation. Yeah, well, y'all make it easy for my first time commentating. This fight. is your first time? First time. I would have never guessed that, honestly. You're a natural. Though. Yeah, yeah, dude, for real. I feel like this is my first time like commentating anything, so I feel like y'all made it so easy. No, for man. Sure, we man. hope to have you back, dude. You have a great, great flow. And, you know, yeah, man, for sure. For sure. Now nah, we, we glad to have you here, chopping up with us and watching some boxing, man. For sure. But you with know, the, with the first round, I I don't know who who would who, who walked out of there with a with a win, but uh, it looked kind of even to me. It looked definitely looked kind of split. No, I definitely think that these guys know that they have to just kind of feel it out, yeah. get their legs beneath them, especially for Hicks. I know he says not a big deal, but I, I in the back of my mind it has to be. But I like his confidence. For sure. Well, I did take these notes. You're starting to read my notes here. So I was going to ask you about uh, Nicki Minaj getting a class taught about herself at Cal Berkeley. Oh, wow. Did you hear about that? No. The man. Black Barbie Family and Hip Hop Feminism. That's the class over Nicki and what she's uh, attributed to the hip hop culture. Um, that's the, the highest level of narcissism that I've ever seen or heard in my life. Th that's it. I mean, they teach the Simpsons in college classes. <laughs> That's a, yo, is, is this what we're spending our money on, man? <laughs> I mean, if that was my kid going to Cal, I would have asked that they, you know, maybe take something more useful. But I understand, you know, uh, need some sure, electives. Sure, yeah. You got, some, you got some electives to waste, then I guess go study about Nicki Minaj. But I, me personally, I'm good. I would definitely try for the Cal Berkeley uh, hoop squad if they got one. Oh, they definitely do. Jason Kidd used to play there. That's right, Jason. No, that's right, that's right. Probably my favorite point guard. No hate if you're a Magic Johnson fan. You know, like Kelda, you're, you're much younger than we are. Who, who did you watch growing up? Um, Allen Iverson. Oh, yes. You know, AI. The answer. As we enter the splash zone, okay, got out of there quickly. Yeah, and talking about answers, it looks like Hicks was trying to find the answer right there. With Absolutely. that flow to the solar plexus. Yeah. It's funny you, you mentioned AI, man. I remember uh, I was talking to my guy Skrulls, man, and we were talking about how much – Allen Iverson impacted the culture of basketball. Yes, I know me personally, growing up, watching Iverson play, I did grow my hair out. I had braids, trying to hoop, you know what I mean? All, all those missing was the arm sleeve and some tattoos. And oh, shoes. my gosh. Every kid had an arm sleeve before there were arm sleeves. Exactly. I'm going to tell you what's so crazy. Like, I used to love Allen Iverson. Uh -huh. uh, one of the reasons why we're number three. Oh, and cool. my dad would never let me grow my hair out. <laughs> <laughs> or or he, he would never let me wear arm sleeve when I played basketball. Oh, man. I used to have, like, the one step above ball. To, oh, wow. To, like, probably, like, ninth or tenth grade in high school. Like, yeah. I had the, 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 the skin. The skin being the – a matter of fact, I had the Kobe cut. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. I'm talking close, close. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Somebody out there saying that they got AI's jersey. Uh, understandably, I remember that Source magazine cover too, man. And that's because, legendary. you know. Legend, legendary slam cover. Um, oh, thank you, slam. I said yeah, Source, slam, right? Yeah, 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 slam cover. Um, there's actually two covers with, with I or I'm on one with his braids, one with the fro. Yeah. Both were legendary. As these fighters, they really get into it in round two. Hicks definitely going in there with a nice one-two. That'll be the end of round number two. Again, a little bit like round number one. Both guys sending those punches. No real dangerous shots being delivered as both, you know, kind of staying out of that danger zone, if you will. I, I think I think if, if you ask me, it's definitely a chess match. I think one person makes a move. The next one, the next opponent makes another move. Don't forget the after party tonight. 42. Stop by 42 for the after party for Brawl or Nothing. And thank you for coming out to the Tech Ford Arena. Something has to happen now if you're going to walk out of here a winner. Oh, I'll take that back. Scheduled six, my friend. That's my bad. My bad. I gave you the four sign. So, so, so we, okay, so we're halfway through. So I think that's why it's a little slow to start. Both of these guys just trying to conserve some energy. A lot of the fights have been four rounders. So, you know, even I was confused there. Oh, for sure. The Hawk, his last win came back in the last time that Richard actually fought. It was back in 2019. It was on a Davies Entertainment card at the Alamo Dome where he defeated Daniel Baez for the vacant ABF USA welterweight title and in a nice, round two KO. And he went in there, nice one two, had, had, uh, had Hawthorne stumbling a little bit. But Hawthorne's capable, I'm telling you. 
It only takes that one punch. We've seen it happen already many times tonight. And Absolutely. again, don't forget, it's Brawl or Nothing. I want to thank you again for joining us. Purses are on the line. KO bonuses are being paid out. And uh, Mr. Cameron Davis, or excuse me, Mr. Cameron Davies has already spent a lot of money tonight. A lot of money has been dealt out. Biggest payout so far has been 2500 for the knockout. And uh, this, this has been an, oh, an incredible event tonight. Hopefully we see y'all here at the next one, Super Brawl on February 11th, back here at the Tech Port Arena. I gotta find out who makes the names, man. They've done a terrific job. I love yeah, all absolutely. the names. I believe I believe it's the creative team, and shout out to the creative team over at Davies, um, but they they do the thing over there. But right now it's Brawl or nothing. Now, talking about too quick, as I heard from his corner, he's right now just stalking down Hawthorne. Looks like there's a little blood on the lip of Marquise. Yes, sir. Maybe not. Maybe that was just his mouthpiece. Yes, sir. Too quick, my quick. But you look at the, the balance of Richard Hicks, though. Good foot movement, good balance, and he's just staying out of range, man. Yeah. And now he's talking. Really excited to see Richard back in the ring, going back to his craft. I know he suffered that round one TKO against Daniard Yelisanova, who was an undefeated fighter back in 2019. But he fought at MSG. Mm. You know? Oh, so, wow, big so, stage. Yeah, so Hicks is not afraid of the big stage, that's for sure. But Kelda, Kelda, what's some of the, you know, when you talk about, you know, the NBA and some of the big stages, has Madison Square Garden been one of the biggest stages that kind of like, you know, gave you those goosebumps? Because all players talk about Madison Square Garden yeah. and, and how, inc how incredible that is. I feel like uh, yeah, MSG is definitely uh, one of a kind. I feel like it was, uh, it wasn't as bad for me my, my, like my first few years in the league because in college we played at uh, MSG, so. It right. Was, yeah, but it was nice. As Hicks is giving Hawthorne a beating. Yeah, he snuck in those two hits right here near ringside. I mean, Hicks looks really comfortable right now. Very poised. Oh, good, good hit shot. by Hawthorne. Final 10 seconds of round number three, scheduled for six. And you know, his corner makes a good point. Let him do the wrestling. I thought we were to get a little extracurricular activity there, but right. that was not the case. But yes, but Hawthorne is tiring himself out by trying to wrestle with Hicks as he's just getting out of the reach. Shout out Texas Rock Millie in the building. What up, Texas Rock Millie? What up? See that? I think that's the beauty of boxing when it comes to, you know, like you said, the conditioning and the in, in knowing your body and how long. It is in the roots, not the branches, that a tree's greatest strength lies. From humble beginnings to esteemed personal injury attorney. Through it all, Joe A. Gomez remembers his origins. He remembers the struggle. He remembers his community. San Antonio, round number four. Just remember, number four. Gomez Law fights. Energy friendly spot, Quiddle, Gomez Law Firm, our title sponsor, Texas Rock Milling, Ace Private Investigators, Automotive Solutions, BFB, Davis, I keep on saying Davis, I don't know why. Davies. Sports Agency, Mozzie's World, Davies Boxing and Fitness. Of course, the Money Team, Tech Port Arena, Davies Entertainment, Cruising Kitchens, yes, Printed sir. Custom yes, Wraps sir. and Graphics, Santa Cana, and of course, be on the lookout for Super Brawl on February 11th. Indeed. Here from the Tech Port Center and Arena in San Antonio, Texas, the premier underground fight club goes mainstream. This is where combat does meet culture as we will have a good performance coming up at the next intermission. Indeed. Looks nice, like, nice overcut. It looks like Hawthorne was trying to trip him up on the way down with his foot. And, and you know, that's like the game within the game. You always have to look at the footwork, see if anybody's stepping on anybody else's foot. For sure. You know, just trying to utilize, it's, it's, a, it's a fight. You're trying to win. Any means possible if the referee doesn't see it, right? Right, <laughs> exactly, that's exactly how it goes. Just like pro wrestling. <laughs> nice left from Hicks. Good combination there with the one-two. And is it just me, or does Hawthorne look a little gassed a little bit? Look tired. He tired, man. He tired, man. He's lunging, that's for sure. Yeah, man. 
He gonna walk into one, man. It's 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 wild when you know. Quit looking at your workers, huh? Quit looking at your workers. Yeah, as you can hear the the coaches and the trainers, um, Hawthorne is definitely leaning into a lot of those a lot of those hooks and you know jabs and it just shows you know the the fatigue is setting in right now for Hawthorne. I'm wondering if the stamina is going to be an issue here for Hicks. Again, the long layoff since he's been back in the ring since 2019. In fact, it's been over three years now since he stepped into the squared circle. Oh, nice. Snuck that hook in there. Hawthorne ready to go. He threw that in there. Keldon's oh. calling it. He ready to go. And they're calling it. They're stopping the fight. Yeah, the doctor got up. He said he's seen enough. He's seen enough. And uh, I'm assuming that a retirement counts as a KO on your record. Does he get paid out? That's interesting. I, I, I don't know how that works. I guess we'll we'll I'm, see how that works I, with camera. I mean, it wasn't all the splash and dash like the other knockouts, but technically, that's a knockout. It's a stoppage. So, I mean, I would, I would consider that a, a knockout, but, you know, or maybe a TKO. I'm not sure how, how they were ruling. But uh, either way, great fight from both competitors. And Hicks is going to walk away with the dub. And I wonder if is, and the, is the chat going crazy right now. Let's, 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 let's take, take a, a look, look at the chat. chat. See, let's see if Team Hicks is in the building for sure. Yes, TKO is a KO for sure. That's right. Oh, you're not leaving us now yet. We got a lot of great fights coming up. You don't want to <laughs> miss it. You guys are too much in the chat. I'm telling you, I can't repeat some of the stuff that's being said, but it is making me laugh. <laughs> Well, the ref didn't stop the fight. It was a doctor on the side of the ring who got up on the apron and stopped the fight, you know? Yeah. I, I, I'm with you. Richard still had his hands up. Or not Richard, excuse me, Marquise. Oh, I understand. I understand. So, But a good performance there from Richard Hicks, knocking off the ring rust, getting the stoppage. Getting the stoppage. I mean, I, I didn't see that coming, but I understand it. Um, especially, you know, earlier with the earlier knockouts uh, that we had tonight in the previous matches. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time comes to you, you know, 206. Let's hear from round number four to the winner by TKO, the fighting pride of Colleen, Texas, USA, Rashad Too Quick. That's now seven KOs on his record. Nice. San Antonio, Texas, your winner tonight. Two quick hits. Make some noise. So this is the first time I've had to witness you boxing. Fast, hand skills. How did you feel coming in tonight's match? I felt good, but I'm going to tell you now, I'm tired as fuck right now. Hey, that's, hey, that's the, the truth. truth. Boxing, Boxing is a real sport. sport. They think it's real easy. What's, what's next, next for you? Because I'm sure now that we witnessed this victory, we're going to want to see what's next in your next match coming up. Man, I took three years off. I'm 37 years old, and I'm doing what people said I couldn't do at my age. So I'm still knocking motherfuckers out, so we're going to keep pushing. That's right. San Antonio, your winner tonight. Too quick. Hicks.